Good Wednesday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for another update of your complete forecast and a whole bunch more coming your way. So stick around for a lot more photographs, and we're also going to have details about what's going on around the Mid-South where it comes to Skywarn. If you'd like to know about how to prepare yourself for severe weather, National Weather Service will be teaching those classes coming up in the near future. A few more of them are left as we head into the second severe weather season of the year, which is why now it's time to get prepared prepared for severe weather. Maybe you just moved here. Maybe you just like to know a little bit more about severe weather. Maybe you'd like to get your kids prepared for severe weather. We've got the information for you coming up here in just a little bit. If you've never been here before, welcome to our video weather blog. This is an opportunity for you, the viewer, to ask me, the meteorologist, a little bit more about what's going on with weather in the Mid-South. That's North Mississippi, West Tennessee, and Eastern Arkansas. If you're in those areas, let's drop your location into the comments section. And if you've got any weather the reports. We'll read those off into the comments section, so put that thermometer outside the kitchen window to some good use. And of course, if you have anything in the way of weather pictures, got a couple more of them from a viewer down around Mexico Beach, Florida, as the cleanup continues into the area around the Florida Panhandle after last week's devastating strike from Hurricane Michael. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a bit. Never been here before. Forecast in the bottom red bar of your screen scrolling on by if you can't stick around for the whole thing or or go to this website address, wreg.com slash weather, and we'll keep you updated as to what's going on in the Mid-South with what's happening out there for the rest of your forecast. Speaking of which, here's what it looks like for the rest of the day today. Again, temperatures not doing too bad. A little bit warmer than yesterday, but once again... We're going to be seeing a little bit cooler than where we should be for this time of the year. We should be in the mid-70s or so, going to be back in the mid-60s for later on today. So comfortable, dry, kind of going back and forth between mostly cloudy, partly cloudy, mostly sunny, and some variation of that throughout the course of the rest of the day. So we are going to see some comfortable conditions out there. But over the next few days, temperatures quite nice, mid to upper 60s today, dropping into the upper 40s as we head into very early tomorrow morning, so another chilly one at the school bus stop for the kids. A little bit more sunshine coming on through, but still some cloud cover around Oxford, Mississippi. Remnants of showers passing just to the south into southern Lafayette County for this morning. Rhodes College in Memphis, a few clouds, a few jet contrails drifting on through, but otherwise some sunshine being seen in central Memphis on the Weather Underground camera network. From our transmitter tower camera at I-40 in Whitten Road, again, traffic stacked up around I-40 heading inbound due to a road rage accident at just south of the flyover area between there and Walnut Grove. Corey Ventura will have more on traffic coming up and also on this backup coming up here in just a bit on News Channel 3 at our 825 update. And of course at our Hilton East Memphis camera, peak of rush hour, traffic moving heavily but in all directions quite nicely into and around 240 in Poplar for this morning. Uh, Avery Nellum, Ripley, Mississippi, 40, 46, is that? Yes, 46, feels like 43. Two-point typeface and bifocals, a little difficult to read sometimes. Thank you very much uh, for that report from down that direction. Welcome to everybody else uh, who's checking in for right now. If you got any weather reports, again, drop those into the comments section. Temperature, wind speed, rain gauge, whatever you got, let's see what's going on there. Scattered showers just south of the viewing area, and that's pretty much it for the rainfall for the rest of the day today. Everything we've got moving across middle Mississippi, heading for western areas of Alabama, and that's going to be mainly west to east throughout the rest of the day. A few sprinkles possible south of Oxford, Batesville, Helena, West Helena, back toward Clarksdale, and that should do it for the rainfall chances for about the next 48 hours or so. After that, we start to see again some possible rainfall chances as we get into Friday night football, so that could be a bit of a problem out there for outdoor plans. We'll talk more about that coming up uh, in just a little bit. Sharika, no love, Treywick, too cold. Sorry to hear that. I'm kind of enjoying it myself but after all the heat and humidity we've had for a while, but thank you very much for that. 45 in Holly Springs, Pam Aikens, Brandon, thank you very much uh, for that weather report for this morning and everybody else checking in uh, across the area and saying hello, checking in for the forecast. We do have a lot more rainfall down to the south of us and it is kind of slowly moving this direction, but mainly the jet stream going to be taking it back over to the east and just south of the viewing area. Some of this is coming in from off what was a tropical system down across portions of the Gulf of Mexico. Looks like my 
computer system is getting cranky again. There's what's left of that system right there. That was a tropical depression, but as of right now, it's just enough for the atmosphere to catch that moisture and move it up our direction into close to the areas of the Mid-South, but beyond that, really not that much happening. Chilly this morning, getting the kids out to the bus stop, heading out on those errands, or going out for a jog or a stroll. Portions of the Mid-South decently chilly back into the lower 40s across much of the area. And seeing those winds a little bit on the lighter side out across much of the Mid-South. Rita Allen, overcast and cool in Wynn, Arkansas. Thank you very much for that one. Uh, Sharika, no love, Treywick. This is autumn. We're still not in winter time, even though it might feel a little bit too chilly out there. Again, the temperature is still going to remain a bit brisk out across the Mid-South, so not quite on the winter side of things just yet, but pretty close to that. Kevin Potts, 45 degrees between Oxford and Batesville. Thank you very much for that weather report. Susan Hart Ferguson going to drive in Friday night. Will there be rain? Uh, we'll check that forecast coming up in just a little bit. Rusty Jackson and the band playing at the stage stop Friday night. Come on out. Weather will be awesome. Hope you're going to be on the indoors because otherwise that could be a bit of a problem. But uh, thanks a lot for hope the band does well out there getting the band back together. Rest of the day today, again, we're going to be continuing to see possibility of clouds drifting across the Mid-South area. That's going to be about it. Most of the rest of the rainfall chances will remain down to the south of the News Channel 3 viewing area. And By the time you pick the kids up from school, temperatures will be back in the mid to upper 60s, maybe close to 70 degrees briefly, again around that area where we've got most of the cloud cover. But then into the rest of the forecast through tonight, computer getting a little bit too over eager of putting more moisture back here. Once dry air comes in, it gets very over happy about the idea that there might be just some amount of moisture out there so it puts the rainfall back in the forecast. I think it's going to be too dry for anything like this but cloud cover that might be a different story so rainfall should be done throughout the rest of the area throughout the rest of the night and into overnight toward tomorrow morning as well. Rest of the day beautiful conditions temperatures back in the mid to upper 60s across much of the area again dry conditions and some variation of temperatures throughout the Mid-South area. Welcome to everybody checking in. Courtney Matthews, weather report cold in Fayette County, Tennessee. Thank you very much for that and a good morning to everybody else checking in. Again, drop your weather reports if you have them into the comments section. We'll read those off as we go along. Tomorrow, also dry, little cooler, temperatures back in the lower 60s. Starting off sunny for the most part on early Friday morning going for partly cloudy skies by mid-morning, midday mostly cloudy, and by Friday afternoon, right about the time you pick the kids up from school, head home from work, get ready for Friday night football, there's our chances of showers starting to make their way into the area. Now, we do have some showers on Saturday, but here's the good thing. The shower chances are just going to be for right after midnight on Saturday morning. I think by the time we wake up Saturday morning with News Channel 3 daybreak, most of the rain should be gone from the area, if not all of it, and most of the rest of the weekend looks great at this point. Temperatures about where they should be today, mid to upper 60s, a little cooler on Sunday, still dry, partly cloudy skies, and temperatures remaining quite mild out there throughout the rest of the foreseeable future. If nothing changes, as we go throughout the last few days of October, we could be looking at a very nice Halloween and also a pretty good start to November. That's still about two weeks away, but again, for right now, things are looking pretty good. Temperatures very stable at this time, well below normal back in the lower to mid-60s. Lows a little chilly in the morning for the kids going out to the bus stop, so please keep that in mind, again, for dressing purposes out there and also seeing little, if any, rain past about Saturday morning. If anything changes, we'll let you you know, keep it tuned to our website for more details and, of course, on air, and we'll keep you advised as to what's happening there. Good news into the tropics. Again, we don't have a lot going on anywhere across the area. We did almost have a storm system over the western Caribbean, just south of the Yucatan Peninsula, and that leftover system here giving some clouds and some rain chances to parts of central Mexico back into the Rio Grande and eventually the United States. Again, that is just basically falling apart. So outside of that, we have little, if anything, going on. The Gulf of Mexico is still very warm water, and that's exactly what a tropical system would need to be developing quickly, but we don't see anything starting off in the area for right now. Now into the rest of the next couple of days, it looks like right into the weekend, we've got some very good conditions out there 
for no development whatsoever. So good news from the National Hurricane Center. Not expecting any development out there within about the course of the next two to five days. Thanks to Federal Officer Arkansas SEC 73. This is a video. I can only show you the first frame of this, but this is video of damage at Tyndall Air Force Base in and around Florida as, again, Hurricane Michael rolled on through. Some massive amounts of damage being reported in parts of the Florida Panhandle, southern Georgia, as that storm rolled on through. Thank you very much. Um, I believe the name is Shane Chapman on there. Thank you again for sending those pictures up there. Please stay safe down in that area. Again, lots of damage. And if you're here in the Mid-South from that area, now may not be the time to go back. You may need to stay here for a while if you can, because even basic services have not been recently supply to that area. A lot of people still without power in South Georgia and parts of North Florida. So please keep that in mind before you head back down that direction. Got weather pictures? Please share them with me at aonic underscore WREG3 and we'll keep you updated on other social media as well. Coming up tomorrow night, Thursday night in Henderson, Tennessee in the Henderson City Hall Council Chambers. The National Weather Service in Memphis will be teaching the latest severe weather spotter training class. It's called Skywarn. Totally free last about an hour, hour and a half, depending on how many questions are asked and answered. And if you'd like to know more about this, there'll be several of them, about six or seven more around the rest of the Mid-South, getting you ready for a severe weather season out there. Again, great opportunity to learn more, great opportunity to learn about what to do before, during, and after severe weather. So this will be one of the best places to be for that. There'll be more meetings coming up over the course of the next several days and weeks. So if you'd like to know more about that, keep it tuned to News Channel 3 and we'll keep you advised on that. Or you can go to weather.gov slash MEG. That's the three-letter designator for the National Weather Service in Memphis. So great place to go to. Or if you can't remember that, just weather.gov. Click on the Mid-South area on the map and then click on the weather headline up at the top about Skywarn Spotter Meeting. Great opportunity to learn more there. Check out my forecast with Bob and Josh up until 10 o'clock this morning on Talkback Live, AM 730, Sports Chat Extraordinary. And if you're out of the signal of AM730, elsewhere across the United States, dial them up online at talkbacklivenetwork.org for more information on that. Jim Jaggers will have more on your forecast for the vacationing. Tim Simpson coming up today on News Channel 3, first at 4. And, of course, I'll have more information throughout the rest of the morning on News Channel 3. Here's one more look at the forecast throughout the rest of the day into afternoon and evening. Again, clouds coming and going. Not going to see totally sunny skies, but won't be seeing anything in the way of totally overcast either. Tammy Hobson, Lynn cool outside in South Haven and the sun is shining. Good news on that. Thank you very much. Uh, CJ's Detailing, thank you for tuning in from uh, wherever you happen to be and thanks a lot for watching. Glad you're enjoying it. And of course, uh, Angela Tony, welcome back from Oklahoma. Glad to see you're tuning in for this morning and everybody else who's popping on through for what's going on into the forecast for right now. Coming up at 1045, give or take, whenever we stop recording stuff in the studio, for updates that will air throughout the rest of the day and night. Join me for our late edition of News Channel 3's Weather Overtime, including a look at weather where the troops are. We've added some new weather sites out there where you may have friends or loved ones serving with the United States military. So tune in for that. We'll have a few from Japan, some from the former Yugoslavia, and a whole bunch of others out there. So please tune in and find out more about Weather Overtime. That'll be just before 11 o'clock Central Daylight Time here on News Channel 3 online. That'll do it for this edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. We've got more coming up throughout the rest of the morning online at WREG.com slash weather. And, of course, more updates throughout the rest of the day on News Channel 3. I'll have more on Live at 9 and also on News Channel 3 at noon. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for the late edition of Weather Overtime. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the day.